This type of situation can be considered disastrous. And yeah, you could possibly lose your job if you don't know how to recover from something like this. Now, keep in mind, this type of thing can happen to anybody. And I don't want you to judge this person that submitted this issue. And of course, you better learn from this type of situation. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. All right, let's look at this one. This kind of looks interesting here. I can't log out my computer from the main user. I deleted the user and the computer from the main. I tried a factory reset. It displays this message. There was a problem resetting your PC. No changes were made. Also tried to restore the user from the main and I couldn't find a way to do it. So this is very tricky. If you have access to Active Directory, you got to be very careful when you do any of this type of stuff. And it says here, I deleted the user. Now you can no longer authenticate over domain once you deleted the user and the computer from the domain. And you also deleted the computer from the domain. Also tried to restore the user from the main. I couldn't find the way to do it. So let's go ahead and recreate this issue again in our system. And we just need to get to the system properties. There are a couple of different ways of doing it. Here's system about scroll down, select domain or work group. This is called system properties and you can get to it many different ways. This is just one of the ways to do it. Let's go ahead and remove it from our domain. And by the way, I select the change here where it says to rename this computer or change its domain or, or work group, click change. And I will go ahead and change it or remove it from the main. So I'm just going to add it to a local work group work group. That's what I will name it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to break it on purpose. It says here, after you leave the main, you will need to know the password of the local administrator account to log into your computer. But to rejoin it, you will need a domain administrator. Okay. So now it's no longer part of this domain. Okay. There it is. It's asking for our domain login. Okay. And lab admin is my password here or login id <laughs> password is actually password and this is public information because this is a computer lab from microsoft okay now you must restart your computer for changes to take effect i can literally go back and I'm, i will restart later here just to save time i will go into our dhcp server here our domain controller and I will delete clan too. It is no longer in there. Yes. So this is, I've done exactly what you've done. All right. So it's no longer in here. Right click, refresh. It's no longer in here. I can re-add it. I can re-add it and you can do this a couple of different ways. You can start off by right clicking here, new, and you can select the computer and you can call it again, you know, client, client two, you can recreate it, but that what you've deleted already is gone. Whether it had anything that's associated with it, like membership, all of that is gone. Your old client two computer no longer exists on Active Directory. That is gone. You have to completely recreate this. So you can recreate this name, add it in there, and then you can join it and it will take on that name again, except it would be completely different just because it doesn't have the same membership. So if you go to properties of it and you go to memberships, you see that it doesn't have anything. Your old one had probably things in it. So you'll have to rebuild all of this stuff, but I don't have to do it like this. I can, and I can join this computer and it would take on this. So if you want to ahead of time, do this, go to properties and add all the memberships. And what is this? So it's usually computer settings and or software di distribution on these. So you would click add and whatever's in there, you would add it in there. You can do that and then go back and rejoin the computer to the domain. Or you can just start fresh, delete it from here again, and then just redo it in here, which we will do like this here. So go back to the same settings, domain, change, Select domain and the name, na domain name, whatever it is for you, corp. 
c o n t o s o dot com i think that's what it is here there it is corp dot c o n t o s o dot com select ok and here again it's asking us for our domain al, al, domain account domain admin account to rejoin it select ok and it says welcome all right and now if i reboot this and it might happen right away actually it should happen right away if I go to computers here and I refresh, here's our client two added in there. So there's there are two ways of adding a computer to domain. Depends whatever you're trying to do. Step one, rejoin the computer to domain. So it's gonna start typing this. Step one, rejoin. Well, step one is actually log in to computer using local login ID and password. For example, local administrator login. Step two, again, it doesn't have to be a local whatever use that you have that lets you make changes to the computer and it has to be a login a local login account step two rejoin computer to domain using domain admin login id and password And then step three, log in to computer with newly created users login ID and password. And I will say here, note, all of the all of the well the settings will be lost for the user and new login id will need to be adjusted accordingly Same goes for the computer name used for joining this domain. Meaning that whether it's login ID or your computer, all these settings that are controlled by the domain controller will be lost. Now you can access users old files on that same computer as long as you didn't reset it as long as you didn't delete everything in format the old files or old local profile for that user will still be on that computer local or domain admin you can also over the network access this computer so if i go to any other computer that has access to it this may not have access to it but if you just do this client two and then do a c dollar sign i can have access to the client two that is on there and now i can go in and look at the user files and there's nothing else there's no other here there are no other profiles but what you would be looking for here is users old login id and password or login id i apologize and it would just be a folder right and you would go in and look at their documents and whatever it is that they need that's within that. Right now, this is accessing the client two over the network. So all you need to do is just do backslash backslash name of the computer, C dollar sign, just like this. And you go to, to users folder 
and it will get you there. Just to prove it to you here, let's log out. Come on. And now log in as other user, test user one, p app ssword. If you need link to this, let me know to this lab. I have, uh, well, here it is right away. I have video on this on how to set it up as well. And here it is. Here's our test user that just got plopped in there. And it's still populating, creating its local profile. But yeah, if there was anything there, you could now access it and copy it to them. So it's a kind of a weird situation that you're in, but you know, at least you learn from your experience, right? And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with making a mistake on something that's not going to be like a huge issue, right? So hopefully this is not something that has happened to somebody who's higher up, meaning that, you know, somebody who's more important in that company that can get you fired, you know? But uh, anyways, it's, it's a good learning experience for anybody. Just be very careful before you make, before you start to delete stuff is the lesson here. <laughs> but I appreciate you sharing this with us and I appreciate you submitting this ticket. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I have the energy for uh, to create for this video. I hope you like it. I know it's not many topics, but I try to share as much useful information as I can on this. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have a situation where you had to recover from a disaster, please let us know in the comments below so that we can all learn from your mistake. I'm just joking, of course. Next time, take care, and I'll see you next time. I don't know why I saluted. It's not like we're in the army or anything, but maybe we are in a tech army. Hmm.